Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently announced its annual budget for next year. Totaling 28.8 trillion Korean won, the largest in the history of the province, this budget features significant increases in the welfare and economy sectors. With this budget, the province plans to pursue provincial development that leads to the realization of fairness through investments in a number of related policies. The budget will be reviewed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly Standing Committee from November 20th to 27th and by the Budget Committee from November 30th to December 11th. It will then be put before the Assembly for a final vote on December 14th. Recently in Kyungi Province, new buses featuring a seat reservation system were introduced. Known as premium buses, these buses are equipped with an onboard wireless system that enables passengers to pay fares automatically via Bluetooth connection with their mobile phones without having to use transportation cards. This system also enables seat reservation via a related app. Premium buses were initially introduced on six bus routes between Seoul and the cities of Suwon, Hwasong and Yongin, beginning from the Suwon-Seoul route. These buses run during commuting hours from 6 until 9 a.m. in the morning and from 5 until 10 p.m. in the evening. Seat reservations can be made via the Good Morning Midi app. As part of its efforts to create a society in which labor is respected, Kyungi Province helped temporary custodial workers at a university gain regular employee status. According to a provincial official, Ruther University in Yongin City of Kyungi Province joined the related provincial initiative to support temporary university employees by transferring six temporary workers to regular employee status as of November 1st. This initiative was first adopted by the current Kyungi Provincial Administration with the aim of improving working conditions for the temporary and contracted employees of colleges in line with a similar central government policy for public organization employees. Kyungi Province recently conducted a crackdown on illegal practices in fire facility installation in large new buildings and uncovered a significant number of violators. At a press conference held on November 3rd, Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police Superintendent In Chi Guan announced that, through an investigation of 33 large new buildings, for which the province received applications for completion certification during the period from July to September, the province identified illegal practices, such as faulty installations, fraudulent inspections, and illegal subcontracting at 17 locations and apprehended 33 businesses involved. Conducted with the aim of preventing large fires, the scope of the investigation included fire detection and control systems, as well as related communication facilities in large structures built this year with floor areas exceeding 15,000 square meters. On November 3rd, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung, Kyungi Provincial Assembly Chairperson Zhang Hyung Guk, and Kyungi Provincial Assembly Democratic Party Floor Leader Park Geun Chul signed an agreement on personnel hearings for provincial organization heads. According to this agreement, the number of organization head nominees who are subject to personnel hearings will be increased from the current 12 to 15. After signing, Governor Lee stated that this agreement marks the creation of an exemplary case in the nation and asked for participant support so that capable personnel can be appointed as provincial organization heads. The third application period for Kyungi Province's Job Interview Cost Support Program, which offers up to 210,000 Korean won to facilitate the job search activities of young adults, began on November 2nd. Any Kyungi resident aged 18 to 39 who has applied for job interviews is entitled to this benefit. Applications are being received online via the Kyungi Province Employment Foundation's website. After screening, payments will be made in local currency within 60 days of application receipt. 
Detailed information can be obtained via the related Kyungi website or by calling 1877-2046. From November 2nd to December 1st, Kyungi Province is receiving applications for youth basic income, a core youth policy of Governor Lee Jae Myung for the fourth quarter. Any 24 year old Kyungi resident who has been living in the province for three years continuously, or for 10 years in total, can apply for this benefit. Those who failed to apply for second and third quarter payments may also apply for the previous quarters during this period. Qualifying individuals can submit their applications online via the Kyungi Province Employment Foundation's website or by calling the Kyungi Call Center at 031-120. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.